If you're serious about creating artwork on a computer, a graphics tablet can be a worthwhile investment. At 25 by 15 centimetres, the Trust Slimline Widescreen Tablet is the largest we've seen for some time, but is this at the cost of some quality? Opening the box reveals a stand to keep the pen in when not in use and a couple of spare pen tips. The pen itself is fairly comfortable to hold but a little on the heavy side due to the AAA battery inside. This is not as good as the light Wacom pens but much better than other tablets that use a quad A battery because we've never seen these in the shops. There are buttons on the side for right or double clicking but no tip on the other end which is normally used for the eraser function in painting software. The tablet itself connects with a USB socket and a light on the top shows when the pen is in range and then dims when the pen clips. There is a clear trace sheet which is helpful for transferring rough drawings into the computer. Now there are 29 shortcut areas around the edge of the tablet and these can be assigned to a keyboard shortcut or set to launch a program. A hint is displayed when the pen hovers over a shortcut area. There's no way I'd learn 20 shortcuts, let alone nearly 30. Sadly, the tablet wasn't quite as good in use as we'd actually hoped. The tracking of the pen seemed a little slow and didn't feel precise enough when we were watching the cursor rather than the pen itself. The slimline widescreen tablet is £70, which strikes us as a little expensive given the problems with lag and the heavier pen. It's significantly cheaper than the nearest Wacron equivalent in size, but if that isn't an issue, we'd recommend spending the money on a Wacron. It'll be smaller, but a lot more accurate.